Hello everyone, I am Keith and in this video I'm going to explain to you the 10 billion dollar homeowner relief plan that was just recently passed by the federal government and what it means for you. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I truly appreciate it and it helps this video climb up the YouTube rankings and could help the video reach other people who may need assistance with their mortgage. Now, most Americans have received three rounds of stimulus checks as part of the federal government's coronavirus relief efforts, but there's also a lesser known relief option available to millions of homeowners struggling to pay their mortgages. And that's the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan. This rescue plan was passed by Democrats on March 11th which included $10 billion, yes I said billion, for the Homeowners Assistance Fund which provides monies to states, U.S. territories, and tribes with the intent of holding off mortgage delinquencies, foreclosures, and other issues for homeowners. The Treasury Department, which is distributing the funds, is sending the money to states to distribute through their housing programs. Each state will receive at least $50 million from the federal government. States must spend that money by September 30th, 2025. So now I know you're wondering, how do I qualify for the Homeowners Assistance Fund? Well, homeowners must have a mortgage balance of less than $548,250 as of 2021. They also must have suffered a financial hardship, such as a job loss after January 21st, 2020, which is shortly before the coronavirus pandemic forced an unprecedented shutdown of the nation's economy. This aid can be applied to help with delinquent property taxes, homeowners association fees, internet services, utilities, principal reduction, and other homeownership expenses. Now at least 60% of the aid needs to go to mortgage borrowers who have an income of less than the, nas the national median income, which in 2019 was about $35,977, or your respective local medium income, whichever is higher. To apply for the aid, eligible individuals should contact their state's housing agency. Simply Google your state's name. So if you're in Florida, let's say, Google Florida State Housing Agency to find your state's agencies. Contact them to get guidance on how you may be able to apply for this fund. In February, President Biden directed federal housing regulators to extend mortgage forbearance programs for an additional six months and prolong other foreclosure relief programs. More than 3 million U.S. households are behind on their mortgages, mortgage payments and nearly 1.7 million will exit their forbearance period in September. So now the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau has just urged the White House to prevent mortgage servicers from starting foreclosure proceedings until after December 31st, 2021. So what to do when your mortgage forbearance ends? If your loan is owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, which they own just about all the loans in the US, or if there is another government loan such as a VA loan, USDA loan, or FHA loan, then you're eligible to mor for mortgage forbearance for up to 18 months if you've applied before June 30th of 2021, which is right around the corner. All of the penalties will be waived and this information will not go on your credit report. Homeowners don't have to provide any proof of their hardship. Now, once this forbearance period comes to a close, mortgage servicers can't make homeowners pay a lump sum to make up for the missed payments, but can explore other options such as refinancing the loan, increasing future monthly payments to make up for the missed payments over time, or adding the missed payments onto the end of the loan period. Now, if you've built up some equity in your home, another option is a cash out refinance. This allows you to refinance your home at a low, lower interest rate and pull out cash from your home for the equity you have saved in your home. You can use these funds to pay, to pay necessary expenses or pay down high interest rate credit cards. So I'd love to hear what you think of this new program and if you qualify or not. I'd also like to know if the birds behind me are too loud or the geese on the river were too loud. Leave your comment below and don't forget to hit that like button. You can watch the next video right here.